Elijah Rooker hosts this tournament every year. Fighters come from all over the country. The cash prize is a hell of a lot more than you could earn fighting at my boat. Well, last season we went to the Wild West, and this season we go to Mexico. And we go to Rosalita Vega's backyard. They have a little bit of an adventure. You said that's 2,500, right? Less my cut. Season one, we did a Western, which was a lot of fun. And season two, we were looking really to pay tribute to Enter the Dragon. Our character is brought to fight in a tournament in a foreign location, but there's an ulterior motive behind it. These bottle episodes really feel like a feature. You're coming in every day, you're telling a story from beginning to end. I really enjoy that. So when they go to Rooker's Mill, this whole new world, it's Mexico, the color, the flavors. And of course, you know, as soon as young June sees a young, pretty Mexican girl, I think I'm gonna like it here after all. Training for the fight scene was really quite challenging. Because you're fighting three guys, and I'm kind of skinny, and I'm not really like that strong. But I have a weapon, and I can like surprise them in different ways with it. The way I fight and the way I move says a lot about my viewpoints on life. And so all the movements have to flow together. I want to end it as brutally and as quickly as possible. You ready? So Young Jun has never been a big fan of Asam fighting in a tournament in order to save our tongue. Because the last time I bet the fucking farm on you, you whiffed it. However, we're in a very sticky situation where we need to make the money in order to save ourselves. Whatever you do, don't lose. So episode six, we had to just dive straight in. And then we got Michael Bisping in there as one of the fighters. <laughs> he was a right laugh. Finished. We did a lot of freestyling and we had to just work together as a team completely and go, okay, we have to cut this out, but we need a finishing move for this, so how do we do this? Maybe we could try this out, let's try this out. I think I've got this move. Yeah, that, was, that felt like a fun episode. Vega is quite confident, not necessarily that he's gonna win, but that he'll make it to the final rounds. She's been seeing him for months now, fight all these different types of fighters and just winning and winning and winning. Vega is different. Her thing is guns, actually. All of the fight training has been helpful as far as floor movement with flips and with kicks. But what she really excels at, guns. And it's also very important that she knows her guns really well because this is how she kills Rooker with the same gun that he used to kill her father. She turns around and kills him. Episode six really is Rosalita Vega's movie. It's her story, it's her backstory. We knew when we introduced the character of Vega that ultimately she was gonna have to die because Vega represented to Assam kind of the promise of America. Assam got to America, all he knew was Chinatown. But with Vega, he realized there's a whole other country out there, there's a whole world out there. Dealing opium, fighting for the tong. I've known my share of gangsters and you're no gangster. Just as Assam kind of came to understand the promise of that, Vega's taking from him. So I guess this is goodbye. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to go back. <sighs> For Vega, this is a suicide mission. So Vega, in some ways, hasn't even thought of what's gonna happen next. Even when they're walking and watching the sunset, even when she does finally hook up with Assam, in the back of her mind is, this is the last time I'm gonna see this. This is the last time I'm gonna be with somebody. He opened himself up a little bit to Vega, just to test it out, and then I think get confirmed to him. That's why I'm not getting involved with this stuff right now. Uh, it just made him go, okay, back to business. 